Mr. President, um, with the uh, indulgence of the sponsor, may I just ask a few clarificatory questions? Certainly, Mr. President. Mr. President, I, I uh, also would like to apologize because I didn't really catch the entire speech. Actually, I didn't catch most of it except for the uh, picture of uh, the um, stadium that was uh, built for the Southeast Asian Games. I was uh, being distracted by the chair of the Committee on Finance and the chair of the Committee on Higher Education with their uh, stories about some people. And they uh, put on the record that they are uh, still laughing as I speak. Anyway, on that note, Mr. Chair, um, so because I cannot ask, uh, uh, I cannot go into detail no, because I did not know that uh, Her Honor would be um, taking up this subject, but the project that Her Honor has flashed on the screen is very close to my heart. Um, I am an athlete. I am also a national team player in my youth and i was there uh during i don't think i was there during the uh what do you call that um when they ano ba tawag dun yung corner ground groundbreaking ba yon? when they put the first when they I, I wasn't there then but i was there when there were only beams and i continually checked on it in the days to come mr president this is a world class stadium built in record time with the advice no less than if i'm not mistaken and i can check for the record world bank and or adb on how to finance and how to do this project mr president the southeast asian games would not have been as successful as it was if we had only the dilapidated stadium of rizal memorial of ultra May I ask her honor if she has seen the place? Because the national track and field team, when they visited it around November, not sure, uh, September, November, before the Southeast Asian Games commenced, they went there for the first time. Does her honor know that they cried when they saw the stadium? They cried when they had the opportunity to run on the turf. Bakit? Kasi doon sila nagpa-practice sa napakabulok na stadium. Ganon ang kalagayan. That's how we treat our athletes. Ilan lang ang Manny Pacquiao ng Pilipinas who has had the opportunity to raise himself and have sponsors. But not all sports are like boxing and basketball that have a strong following. Many of these athletes will never even be remembered. But on that day that we won the gold medal, the entire Southeast Asian countries gave their due respect to the Filipino athletes. I am embarrassed that we cannot even honor that. I am embarrassed that we choose to make a political issue out of a world-class facility. Kaya tuloy, wala nang mag-aabalang magpatayo ng mag matitino at kahangahangong mga infrastructure dito sa Pilipinas. Dahil magpatayo ka lang ng maganda, eh sasabihin na sa'yo na may kalukuhan ka. So paano? Puro bulok na lang tayo. Para walang pumansin. Ganon. Paano magiging white elephant? Madam sponsor, do you even know what are the conditions of our sports facilities? Para sabihin mong yung world class na yun, magiging white elephant. Hindi nyo ba alam na pinasa natin ang National Academy of Sports? And doon, pag-aaral, doon mag-training ang mga bata natin, mga future Manny Pacquiao, paano naging white elephant? Sana naman mag-ingat naman kayo sa mga parat mga paratang nyo, dahil yan na naman ang i-headlines. Di man lang natin binigyan ng konting parangal, konting respeto ang mga national athletes na alam nyo ba, kung hindi dahil sa bayanihan to, eh hindi pa magkakaroon ng allowance. Hindi thanks to PSC yan, ha? 
Thanks to Speaker Alan Cayetano, Congressman Bumble Tolentino, and Senator Sani Angara. So hinahalo ko yung mga mukha ng mga athletes na to dun sa tinatawag niyang white elephant. Kasi that is the only reason why you put up such a structure for people. In this case, for young athletes. So I cannot separate their faces and their names from the structure that you are, that you now want people to cast doubt upon. Again, I do not have the details. Wala akong hawak na papel. But I have to stand up for BCDA, for the architects, for the engineers, for every single construction worker that worked overtime. Madam Sponsor, alam nyo ba, 24-7 nagtrabaho yon para makadeliver tayo sa Southeast Asian Games? Di ba mas kahihiyan yun na nag-umpisa Southeast Asian Games tapos hindi natapos yun? Nanood ho ba kayo? Nandun ako, nanood ako. Nanood ako, nanalo tayo ng mga kung ano-anong event. Yung Paul Volter natin, he claimed the gold. Si EJ Obiena, he's going to compete, he was supposed to compete in the Olympics. Pero hindi natuloy yung Olympics. At least, nagka-Southeast Asian gold medal siya, di ba? At least nanalo siya in his own country. Napanood siya ng tatay niya na coach niya. Ganon ang kalagayan ng mga athletes. Madam Sponsor, yung nanalo ng marathon, taga-kagayan de oro siya. Umiiyak siya nung nakita ko siya after niya. Hindi niya akalain, mananalo siya. Alam niyo bang na-lockdown siya dito for how many months? Hindi nakauwi. O baka sabi niyo, irrelevant na yun. Hindi, hindi irrelevant yun. Kasama yun sa mga sakripisyo ng mga atlit. Tapos ngayon, ang kaisa-isang nagawa namin, natin for them, binibigyan pa natin ng mali siya. Kaya yan, yan ang mangyayari sa bansa natin. Puro mali siya tayo, puro paghuhusga. Mr. President, may I respond now? And uh, yes. the Go gentlewoman. Ahead. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, indeed, uh, if uh, the good colleague had caught more or most of my privileged speech, um, it, it probably would not have caused uh, the good gentle lady as much distress. Uh, maganda naman talaga yung mga facilities. Nobody's arguing against that. And uh, sinuportahan ko rin yung itinayo natin by law na paaralan para sa ating mga atleta. World class nga naman yung mga facilities kahit tignan lang natin sa mga litrato. Pero baka mas world class pa kung binid out according to law. Yung mga itinanong ko, uh, hindi pa akusasyon, pero sinabi ko mga bagay na dapat alamin were not merely content of news reports or headlines. They had been, Mr. President, already the subject of opinions by the Government Corporate Council, by the Office of the um, uh, the, the GCG, the, gover uh, the Government uh, Commission on GOCCs, and very importantly, Mr. President, the Commission on Audit, na lagi naman nating ginagamit na gabay para sa pag-oversee ng tamang at optimal na paggamit ng government funds at pati sa pagsisiyasat ng ating mga proposed budget tulad ng ginagawa natin sa ngayon. Maganda talaga yung facilities, but would, does this excuse the possibility of cutting corners, which I repeat, Mr. President, my speech was not the first to raise questions about, pero may aktual na mga opinion at observation bago sa araw na ito ng COA, ng, GO, uh, ng GCG, at ng uh, Office of the Government, OGCC. And the COA findings themselves were adverse, Mr. President. Kaya it behooves us to consider the possibility of look, looking uh, into them. Ang aking mga tanong na inerase ay walang pagbabawa sa pagbibigay halaga natin sa ating mga atleta mula pambansa hanggang lokal. Hindi binabawi ang ating suporta 
sa education and athletic support sa ating mga athletes at student athletes. Ito ay panay tungkol sa inobserbahan pa o hindi ang mga ayon sa batas dapat na inobserbahan kung totoong joint venture yan o hindi ba dapat sa ilalim ng build, operate and transfer law uh, kung kaya't mas mahigpit na bidding. At pag-iwas na ito ay naging bang isang behest loan. At pati yung tanong ko po tungkol sa ito ba ay magiging uh, white elephant lamang, it was precisely in the body of my speech coached in the form of a question. Kasi ayaw na ayaw natin na ang ganitong world class or magandang facilities ay mahulog na lang sa ganyang status. Lalo na naging stage na siya ng pagkamit ng Uh, glory o uh, karangalan ng ating uh, mga atleta. So ito po Mr. President ay uh, mga tanong na maaring unang beses ni race natin dito sa loob ng Senado pero uh, nauna na yung mga constitutional at executive bodies sa ganitong klasing mga opinion at observasyon and I think uh, it is well Uh, within the mandate of the Senate to also consider looking into these questions, Mr. President. Mr. President, like I said, um, I do not have the details. Wala ho akong panahon sa ngayon, naaralin yon dahil I am sponsoring CREATE and I am the Senior Vice Chair of the Committee on Finance. Pero pag pinagpatuloy pa ni Senator Risa sa ganitong panahon, na katulad nga ng sinabi ko, yung mga athletes na yan, na lockdown, hindi nakauwi, sampung buwan, walang allowance, sampung buwan, walang allowance, this is their livelihood. And all, you know, the, the only thing they have left is their pride. So when we do things like that, we slap them in the face. That is what we do, Mr. President. And when Her Honor chooses to use words like white elephant, you make the whole, you, you make the people who bother listening to us if there are still people who bother to listen to us, the more that they question our judgment, the more that they question the things that we do to make those who need more in life, to give them a better life. And that is exactly what that project was all about. But kakainin ba natin yon? Hindi. So, Shem, ba't, ba't pinayo yun? Eh, kasi nga may purpose. We were, we were in line to sponsor, to, to host the Southeast Asian Games. Was there enough time? To go through all the steps, I don't know. But I am sure there's a logical reason because the president of BCDA is one of those persons that is highly respected in this government. <coughs> He was pulled in to assist the IATF with the testing, the capacity building, putting up quarantine centers. Hindi mag si Vince Dizon na mag-cut short lang ng corners para lang batikusin ng ganito. Ginawa niya yon para matpatayuan ng may pagmamalaki namang stadium ang Pilipinas. So I, I, leave, it at that, at, I leave it at that, Mr. President, but I sincerely regret in as much as we all have the right to stand up here for anything that we want to talk about. We do. Kaya pwede. Lahat tayo may right. Pero I sincerely regret na nagagamit ang floor natin para sirain ang napakagandang pangalan ng mga, pro mga napakagandang mga proyekto na tinayo para lang naman bigyan ng kahalagahan ang ibang sektor ng ating bansa na normally hindi napapansin. They are normally training, like I said, umiyak sila nung tumuntong sila sa tarp, sa tarp, sa tarp nung, nung uh, track oval na yon umiyak sila. Sabi nila, wow, ang lambot. Sabi ko, ba't saan ba kayo nagtitraining? Ma'am, dun sa, ano, dun sa track oval na sira-sira na, sa Pangasinan. Ha, paano kayo nakarating ng Pangasinan? Eh, wala na ho kami mapag-trainingan sa Metro Manila. And then their facilities, nakatira na rin ako sa Rizal Memorial. As I said, I was a national team athlete. Yung tinerahan ko sa Rizal Memorial nung 1983, Awan ng Diyos, ganun pa rin ang itsura. Kung hindi pa natin pinatayo ang, ang track oval sa University of the Philippines, which is open to all, 
Inabot ng mga anak ko, what, 30 years after I graduated, the same track and football field ng UP. O so siguro si UP, sinunda nila by the letter every single step. Awa ng Diyos, inabot ng apat na taon. Nag-graduate na yung anak ko, never niya na nakita yung, yung field na yun. That is how infrastructure projects in the Philippines go along. So if you don't want your people to dream, if you don't take a stand and give honor to what should be honored, the people who did right, then we'll just watch our country crumble because we're just going to be finger pointing every step of the way. And I take offense as an athlete, as a mother of athletes, as a mentor and as a friend of all these athletes whose sole pride was to, able to, was to be able to see such a structure built in their honor, questioned and castigated in this manner. Salamat po. Mr. President, hindi ginagamit, but we take the floor, we take the floor to hold people to account. No more, no less. At yung ganyang prinsipyo ay nirace na rin ng previous opinions and observations, as I said, ng GCG, ng OGCC, at ng COA. And speaking of, was there enough time to do things by the book, to be sure not to cut corners, to observe all the processes under the law? Sigurado, Mr. President, there would have been time. Kasi ayon sa timeline, August 16, 2017 pa lang, ang BCDA ay unang tumanggap ng unsolicited proposal mula sa MTD Capital Berhad for the construction of the National Government Administrative Center or NGAC in New Clark City. So ibig sabihin po, Mr. President, a full two years bago na consummate itong proyekto, there would have been all the time para siguruhin na nasusunod ang mga batas which I have cited in my questions. Yung mga batas tulad ng Build, Operate, and Transfer Law na may kinalaman sa tamang bidding at hindi yung i-label itong proyekto na isang joint venture. Yung uh, uh, batas nga tungkol sa uh, bidding at procurement o new procurement uh, law. Yung mga batas sa ating banking sector na dahil sa ating kasaysayan ay nagsisiguro na hindi behest loan ang uh, posibleng makuha uh, sa ganitong mga proseso. At yung ibang mga batas na nagsisiguro na tama at optimally ginagamit natin ang public funds para sa patuloy na pagtataguyod ng ating public infrastructure, including sports infrastructure. So even on that point of time, Mr. President, uh, which the gentle lady mentioned, I would surmise certainly there would have been enough time to do things by the book, observe all the nitty-gritty nitong mga batas na may kinalaman sa ganito mga proyekto at proseso, Mr. President. 